Got original 1963 Nova. Original AM radio. Uh, it's got brand new chrome on it. We repolished all the push buttons. Uh, re chromed the outside knobs. Uh, polished the back plate on it. It is aluminum. And uh, we've done a full Aurora design conversion. It's got AM FM stereo. Auxiliary in, which is automatic. Four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It's got uh, three pre-outs on the back of it if you want to add an amp to your rear speakers or even a sub. It's got a USB port. This is your uh, port you'll be getting. It's in a harness. Play a thumb drive and charge your phone, your devices. You'll get the thumb drive with it, which will have this video on it. Songs and files. Um, it also has Bluetooth, hand-free phone calls, uh, voice ID, and we'll seek and scan stations for you. It's fully loaded, and we're going to run it in. Right now, you're on FM. you got an operating LED right here and a stereo LED. So you're on FM. You won't find a stereo channel. It'll light up for you. And that's where his that's his Treble and bass like you've always had. If you hook up two speakers, you'll have balance, which is built in your toner. If you hook up three or more, you'll have balance and fader built in your toner. I'll demonstrate that how it works. Uh, the radio turned out nice. It looks good. we got all the presets working push buttons where you can preset stations on them. Marry me. If you want to go to AM radio, just simply turn the unit off and right back on. It takes you to AM radio. When I always had a chemo buddy with me, and I had just the best support team. They found it as a, you know, it's a little... Off and right back on, take you right back to FM Let's stereo. Just the brakes and see if that will allow the immune system to... One vote's there. Now, we'll seek and scan stations on AM or FM. I'll demonstrate that for you. All you got to do to put it in that mode is take your tuning knob and turn it up twice. Japan, Dr. Well, that little light gets to blinking. Shadrach, Meshach, and the LED, so now it's going to start we scanning your station. We will not bend uh, down to. I'll show you how to lock on a station or even actually even find that station. Then I'll show you uh, how you can actually ID that station. Money and marriage gods. We'll let it go a few more stations. Store button at moneywiselive. All with your clinic purchase of fifty five dollars or more. It's all you need this fall. It's a good deal if you don't if you know you're out of town. You don't want to mess up your presets for your local station. It'll sit there and keep scanning as long as that little light is blinking. All right, say we like that station there. All we do is turn it once. It'll start flashing quick. Now we can stay there. It'll lock on it. Or it'll let us find it. Now we know we want to know what station that is. Nine two dot nine. Turn it up three times. It'll tell you which one it is. And having that clutch gene in him to be able to make those kind of points. well, those kind of guys just seem to arise. For one zero two dot five. A little bit tighter. It doesn't overwhelm them. You know, the quicker picker up. That's how your seek and scan and voice ID works. Uh, your auxiliary in, which is automatic. All you do is take a device. We got a little MP3. You can do satellite radio, XM radio. Uh, CD players, your phone, whatever you want to, just plug it in. You'll get a mail-to-mail -mail cord, and you just bring your device up and hit play. Automatically changes over. The light's gone to green. That means you're on auxiliary end.
Now anytime you want to go back to radio or come off your auxiliary end device, you just turn it off. You don't have to unplug it, I'm going to unplug it. And in 20 seconds, the radio will go back to where we had it set. If you want to shorten that 20 seconds during that time, all you got to do is turn the radio off and right back on like you're cycling from AM to FM. It remembers where you're at. Uh, we're going to let it make sure it cycles back around, which it did, back on FM. That's how your auxiliary end works. Now we're going to run our, we're going to pair up our phone. And you'll pair up your phone, bring it up on Bluetooth. And you want to do it one time. Every time you get in your car, after you do the initial pair up, turn the radio on. You have your phone with you, she'll come on and say Bluetooth connected. But we're going to do the first initial pair up. We're going to let her help us. We're going to take the push button and hold it down. Bluetooth ready to pair. Showed up on her phone. All we got to do is tap on it. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. Now we're connected up. You know, this little light is lit up on the push button. And we're going to do a voice command because it's mainly designed so you don't have this phone in your hand. Now I can go to music and hit play and it'll automatically change over and start playing my phone. And I can hit stop and it'll go back to radio. But this is designed in case you're going down the road. You want to bring it up, you got two mics, you get one that's extendable in case your car is loud and you got a built-in mic right behind this push button. We're going to check it out. We're going to bring our phone up, hold it down. Play music. Now, going to music on my phone. Show you how that operates. You want to advance your songs, you don't even have to look at your phone. Your push button will advance your songs. Twice to repeat or back up. Or you can do it with your tuning knob. Turn it one time. Back. Back up. You can also go back to your phone by holding this down and bring your phone up. Tell it to call home, do whatever you want to do. You can also do it with, with the volume control. They all work together now. Take your volume control, turn it up twice. Stop music. Now we're going back to radio. Emergency does happen. Spring Hill Heating and Cooling knows that most of us just can't You notice you still pair it up. That's how your Bluetooth and all work. Phone call comes in, you turn your tuning knob up one click to answer the call and talk. Or push your button one time to answer your call. Uh, if you want to end the call, hit it twice here or turn it down twice or once. Or just let the phone hang up. It'll go back to doing whatever you had the radio doing. I usually just let mine hang up on phone, that way I don't want to fool with it. It'll hang up and go right back to what you were doing. Now we're going to do the USB. This will also charge your phone and play a thumb drive with some music on it. It goes straight to it when you plug it in. And this operates the same way as your phone. Advance your songs, push it once, twice to back up or repeat. Or you can do it with a tuning knob. Turn it up. Back. Happy birthday. Now if you want to put this in pause, a lot of people like to hide these in there. You can hold this down one second, put it in pause, go back to radio. It takes just a few minutes for it to turn around, or you can actually do it with the volume knob. We're going to do it with both. One second. Gonna go back to radio with a little light in there. It's gonna blink a couple times. Now you're going right back to radio. If we want to bring this back up, if you're down, if you're down for a long period of time, it'll come back up. It'll redo the song. If you're down for a long period of time, it'll pick another song. So it depends on how long you're down on it because you know it's just kind of computer age. 
But if you want to go back to it, hold this down one second, go back to the thumb drive, or take your volume knob and turn it down twice. One, two. Drop right back to it. Put it in pause. One, two. Back in pause. Go right back to radio. It all works together. This is your original 1963 Nova. All chromed up and ready to go. I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.